Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your monthly general reading for October 2019. Now I'm using the Psychic Tarot to pull a major theme and energy for you in the month of October. I'm also pulling several fortune reading cards, and I'm using the Santa Morta Tarot deck for your monthly general messages. And at the end of your reading, Pisces, I will be pulling several life purpose cards for you as well. Beautiful. So we have authority coming up here. All right, Pisces, you're going to be stepping into your power in the month of October. Thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit? Thank you. All right, so we have Snake. Thank you, Spirit. And we have love. Beautiful. All right, Spirit. What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know in the month of October 2019? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Pisces, we are ready. Situation of the month, we have the star. Crossing you is the four of wands. In your foundation is the page of swords. Recent past energies, we have the four of pentacles. Crowning you is the King of Cups. New circumstance is the Hierophant. What you need to know is the Knight of Wands. Your environment is the Three of Pentacles. Your advice from Spirit is the Knight of Swords. And your outcome energy, beautiful, the magician. I love it. All right. All right, Pisces. So right off, this is a beautiful read, but I'm also seeing some synchronicities here with numbers. So we do have the four of wands with the four of pentacles and then four with authority here. That is a very spiritual number. If you do not know the meaning to 444, go Google it. Um, go look up Angel's uh, Answers. There's a message there for you, Pisces. All right? So let's start with their major energy right here. You have authority. This is the energy of Aries coming through here. This talks about you having authority, taking back power over your situation. Um, this talks about you asserting yourself as well. Some of you may be uh, starting new projects, a new job. Uh, some of you may most definitely be stepping into a leadership role in the month of October. Maybe even a mentor uh, type of role as well. Uh, this talks about maybe starting a business. Um, it really shows you putting in a lot of time and effort with what you're working towards. And with this energy, it also represents to me that you are laying a solid foundation when it comes to what you're working towards. You're building your empire up uh, in the month of October, Pisces. Beautiful. So now we have Snake. Listen, Snake, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. All right, so I feel for some of you, uh, you could have some sneaky or toxic people that you may come uh, encounter in the month of October. Just be mindful and be aware of that and make sure you listen to your intuition. As long as you listen to your intuition, Pisces, you're going to see somebody um, maybe coming at you wearing a false mask or maybe 
that deceit that they may be carrying. So just be mindful of that. Spirit says, listen to your intuition. Now we have love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So beautiful. I feel like this is the month for you to start taking action with what it is that you're wanting in your life. What you're wanting to co-create. So your situation of the month of October is the star. This is the energy of Aquarius right here. Beautiful energy. This tells me that you're aware. Some of you are reaching for the stars. You're going after a dream. I feel for others of you, you are really tapped into your inner well of knowledge. You're using the tools from your spiritual tool belt. You're meditating. You're listening to the, your intuition, that spiritual guidance as well. For some of you, you are... Uh, going through a healing process as well that's being poured upon you. It's it, There's an abundance of it that's being offered to you at this time, Pisces. So if you're in need of healing, make sure that you are open to receiving a healing at this time as well. Now you have the Four of Wands in your crossing position. I love this. This is just the, you know, happy, happy card right here. This talks about joy, happiness. Some of you may be having some small celebrations in the month of October. There could be a wedding, uh, an engagement party. There could be, uh, some of you could be uh, ready to bring home a little one from the hospital. You may be expecting a baby at this time as well. Um, the Four of Wands represents the joy and peace and harmony that's within your heart. All right, happiness. Um, this can also represent maybe what you're working towards, what you're building upon, uh, building stability and security within your home, uh, making sure that you are building up a strong, firm foundation, a foundation that's unshakable, okay, is what I'm getting from spirit. Some of you may be purchasing a home for the first time as well, maybe even property. Beautiful energy right here. Now you have the Page of Swords in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you in the month of October. So the Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is definitely, you know, the ready for action type energy. Uh, you're ready to take action on something. Some of you may be going back to school. You may be taking some classes even. I feel like there's knowledge being gained here. Uh, as you can see, he's sitting at a table. He's writing. Uh, I feel like this is the energy of getting organized. This can also represent, you know, needing to maybe let go of things that are no longer serving you. Uh, it could be a toxic situation or a toxic person, maybe a toxic environment. Uh, there's a need for you to move forward and take action. Now we have the Four of Pentacles in your recent past energy. Now, I definitely feel for some of you, you have recently took back power and control over your finances, okay? Um, you are building up a strong, firm foundation here. Stability and security is what you're working towards. Uh, there's a caution here of holding on a bit too tightly, okay? So if some of you have recently, you know, you're, you're holding on to what you have. It's This can kind of represent... The miser energy. You have to make sure that you're you're putting out or putting money into something in order uh, to be able to receive back. I hope I'm making sense here. Sometimes I feel like I'm not, but spirit is saying, you know, if you hold on too tightly, that kind of closes you off and it can block you in certain areas of your life from being able to be open to receive gifts or opportunities that can bring about more finances in your situation. Okay. But I feel for the majority, this is about what you're working towards, what you're work, you know, you're building an empire here and you're building one that's going to be built to, uh, it's going to be long lasting. Okay. It's going to be unshakable. You know, when you have the tower, uh, the tower means that something wasn't built on a strong and firm foundation. Uh, you are building something that's built to last is what I'm getting from spirit. Now you have the King of Cups in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is your energy, Pisces. 
Cancer and Scorpio. Uh, this tells me at this at this time that you are very balanced within your energies. You guys are really putting in the inner work because when you get this energy, whether you're male or female, you have complete control over your emotions. So you have emotional stability here, which is amazing. Uh, so it also talks about having a lot of wisdom and having a very generous spirit as well and being very supportive and nurturing to others as well as yourself. Now you have the Hierophant, the energy of Taurus coming up here as your new circumstance. Remember earlier I was talking about some of you may be mentors for others. I'm definitely getting this coming up here for you. Some of you may be getting together with like-minded people and, you know, talking about what what you're working towards or, you know, this could have to do with uh, religion, spiritual stuff. Um, most importantly, Pisces, you know, the Hierophant represents that, you know, you hold the keys to your success here. Um, if you've recently felt like doors have been locked for you, this is saying here right now that you can take your keys now and you can unlock those doors and walk through them. They're no longer blocked. Same way with going down a spiritual path. If you felt blocked before, now you can move forward because you hold the keys to your success. And in spirit says, all you have to do is tap into your inner well of knowledge and listen to your intuition and anything that's been hindering or blocking you, you're going to be able to move forward. What you need to know is the Knight of Wands, all right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is that energy of taking action, all right? I love it. And in doing so, what you're taking action on, you have a lot of passion, all right, for what you're working towards. This talks about you having the self-confidence and moving forward. And, but there is a caution with this energy to make sure you don't overlook anything. Uh, oftentimes, if we get too excited or too caught up, we may overlook or miss something that's very important. So just be mindful of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. In your environment is the three of pentacles, and I love this. This as you can see, you planted the seeds, you're nurturing them, and with this being a three, there's growth and expansion coming in here. Definitely, some of you could be having a baby, fixing to bring a baby home, like I said earlier. Uh, some of you may be working towards buying a home, uh, but whatever this energy is to you, you're a team player, especially in your environment, so you either have housemates or a significant other, I feel like, that you guys get together and you know, you really cooperate with each other. And some of you may be planning or um, investing your maybe money or saving back money to purchase your first home as well. Or maybe to just move out. Some of you may be leaving the nest and you're ready to get your own place. It's a beautiful energy though. Uh, some of you may have recently received a promotion. Uh, oftentimes this does represent being admired for your work as well. Uh, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, you're highly skilled. So, beautiful energies here. So, you have the Knight of Swords as the advice from Spirit. Uh, the Knight of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Again, this is you being very self-assured about what you're moving towards. You have a lot of knowledge about what you're speaking about. Uh, this is the energy of speaking your truth, being very outspoken using power with intent to get things done. Some of you, like I said, may be cutting off a toxic situation, a work environment. You may be getting rid of people that have negative energies. Uh, this is definitely you making sure that you're doing what's right and what's just for you. Now you have the magician, Pisces, and I love this, all right? This is your outcome energy. So. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. You, uh, it's, it's a perfect time to use that laser-focused intention. Manifest and co-create uh, what you want, okay? What you're wanting to co-create and bring into reality that you can touch, you can see. You can, you know, with all use all your five senses here. This could be manifesting a home. Some of you could be um, manifesting money, manifesting a career, all right, it's going to be different because there are so many of you watching. 
but it's a beautiful energy. This tells me you have all the tools available to you and you're using them. So manifesting is going to be really, really favorable for you in the month of October, Spirit says. And I just love this. It's going to be very important for you to communicate your desires as well. Let your angels and let your spirit guides know what it is that you're wanting. So they can start working behind the scenes and start paving the way for you. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right. So Pisces, a lot of you are really stepping into your power. You're taking back authority over your situation, your life, your finances. Um, you know, some of you may be playing a leadership role as well. Remember, with the snake, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. Be mindful of those of you that may be around you uh, or people, new people you may meet. Okay, somebody could be uh, not what they say they are. Okay, or you think they are. Now you have love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. With this star energy here, many of you are reaching for the stars. You're going after your dreams. Some of you are really just tapping into your inner well of knowledge. You're meditating. You're listening to that spiritual guidance. As well, some of you are allowing a healing to take place in your, your life as well. This four of wands represents happiness, celebrations, get together, maybe with friends and families, maybe even co-workers. Some of you may be uh, working towards buying a home. Some of you may be bringing a baby home from the hospital as well. This page of swords, this talks about you really gaining knowledge and working towards your goal here. Uh, you're making sure you're not overlooking anything. You are making sure all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted. Some of you may be taking classes. Some of you are cutting off uh, what's no longer serving you. With this four of pentacles here in your recent past, most definitely for many of you, you've taken back control over your financial situation. Make sure you're not holding on too tightly um, so you're open to receive from spirit. You you know, it's kind of like the energy. you got to, uh, what you put out is what you get back, okay, Pisces? That's what spirit is telling me. Now, this king of cups energy, this is you and your element. This is you having... Complete control over your emotions, which is telling me you have a good head on your shoulders, all right, and you're balanced. The Hierophant, you may be helping others uh, spiritually along their path. You may be a mentor. Some of you may be even a teacher. You may work with crystals uh, as well. You may be working with cards as well is what I'm getting from Spirit too. That helps you along your spiritual journey. Remember, with this energy coming up here, you hold the keys to your success, Pisces. What you need to know with this Knight of Wands, it's, you know, you're ready to take action. And you have a lot of self-confidence and passion about what your heart's true desire is. Just make sure you don't get so caught up in the moment you overlook anything. Now, with the Three of Pentacles in your environment, there's growth and expansion here coming into your home life. All right, this is going to be different for everybody what this growth and expansion is. It could be a child. It could be money. It, you know, it, it's going to be different. Um, I do feel for some of you, you you're going to get uh, rewarded for your effort. You are skilled. Uh, many of you are team players. Um, and it's, it's very positive right here. Some of you may have even recently uh, received a raise or promotion of some type. Uh, your advice from spirit is this knight of swords. It's time to cut out anything that's no longer serving you, Pisces. And it's time for you to stand in your power and speak your truth. Uh, you're using laser-focused intentions with this magician energy. You're manifesting and co-creating co what you want in your reality. And I love it because it's so positive. Thank you so much, spirit. Author. Artist, and travel. All right. So we have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Beautiful. Artist, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career 
and every other area of your life. Travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. For those of you that are celebrating Halloween uh, on October 31st, happy Halloween to you guys. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.